Welcome to another Earth Science Podcast. I'm your host, Mr. Buss, and this podcast will be pretty short. It's going to talk about how iron-containing rock formed and specifically what led to the rock formations and, you know, where do they come from. So probably most people in Minnesota are aware that Minnesota actually does have natural resource of iron that we mine from the ground in various ranges throughout the state. So how did all that iron get there? Well, the first thing you probably notice about these rocks is that they look like they are sedimentary rocks, such that a long time ago, sediments must have laid down um, horizontally and compacted over time to form a sedimentary rock. And that is correct. Iron ro for, uh, uh, rocks that contain iron are, in fact, sedimentary rocks. Okay, well, what led to their formation? Okay, well, we have to first look back billions of years. So if you think about what the Earth might have looked like billions of years ago, well, when life was first starting to form. So when life was first starting to form, obviously on land you wouldn't have any plants or animals or anything of any sort, but life kind of took hold in the seas first. And you think about, well, what, what came first, producers or consumers? Well, producers had to come first. Life that could produce its own you know, energy from using the sunlight. So during the Precambrian, um, you had you know, single cell life creatures, um, photosynthetic, ancient forms of algae and such taking hold in the oceans. So believe it or not, in this picture here to the left, um, these are actually living creatures, or actually these are rocks, I should say, that are the product of colonies of stromatolites, where basically ancient photosynthetic uh, colonies of algae, and <laughs> they are highly successful. They are still around today. Today we can still find stromatolites uh, successfully living. And in the ancient oceans, these stromatolites would have been going through photosynthesis, much like they do today. And just like today, when algae and plants go through photosynthesis, they release oxygen. And so oxygen is being formed in the oceans and being released into the atmosphere. And over millions, billions of years, this oxygen was accumulating in the atmosphere. Well, oxygen tends to be highly reactive, and iron that was dissolved in the oceans began picking up that oxygen, and without getting into the chemical reaction here, it was forming iron oxides, and those iron oxides are not soluble, and so they would actually form a solid a little tiny speck, which would start falling to the bottoms of the oceans. So if you could look at the bottom of the ocean then during that time, you were getting sedimentary iron falling out and precipitating out as iron oxides. And that's how our, that, so let me back up here. So what led to iron containing rock formations? The presence of atmospheric oxygen. How, where, when did iron-containing rocks form? How did they form? They formed as sedimentary rocks, when? Billions of years ago in the Precambrian, and where? In the bottoms of oceans. And that concludes this podcast.